Hey guys, Steve again here with my good friend Aaron Shell. Today we are going to be talking FPV antennas. So nerd alert, this is going to be very detailed and uh, we really want to give you an idea of what the difference between omnidirectional antennas versus directional antennas, what does left hand or right hand mean, all those crazy terms you may not be familiar with. Aaron will do a great job here of explaining it. So the first question I want to ask you, Aaron, is what is the difference between an omnidirectional antenna mm -hmm. versus a directional antenna. We've got the two in front of us. Sure. So give us a kind of a quick and dirty, what is the difference between those two? Okay, well, here's an omnidirectional antenna. This is actually a, a, an antenna I built going on 10 years ago now, not quite, but um, it's for 1.3 gigahertz, so it's a lot larger. But it's the same kind of thing we have now with our uh, omnidirectional antennas that we use for 5.8. Let's hold both of these two up right here. We've got two antennas here. One is left-hand circular polarized, right. and one is right-hand circular polarized. That's now, right. when I first learned that term, I had no idea what that actually meant until you explained to me, kind of here, look at this and tell me. So sure. So explain to the folks what exactly I'm looking at here. So you'll notice that uh, this antenna's got the low blade over to the, the right, and this antenna's got the low blade over to the left. So without getting too complicated here, basically it's got a spiral pattern instead of a, a, a a straight pattern. So yeah. when the, the antenna is doing its thing, instead of just working in one direction, it's working like a spiral. Gotcha. So the left hand antenna is spiral this way and the right hand antenna is spiral this way. Right. Okay. And there's advantages when you want to run channels together. So if I'm running channel one and you're on two, I can run right and you can run left and then the guy on three can run right and we alternate on every other channel mm -hmm. and that's the best way to get the best video performance. Yeah, we, we see that a lot of races, big races when they're running six, seven guys at a time, right. you ha they almost have to at that point. Okay, so we're talking about directional antennas now, and the reason directional antennas work well on the ground side is because they have a coverage area. So an antenna like this has uh, an effective area where it's out in front of it, and it'll have um, a beam width measurement where it's say 60 degrees, and that, if you imagine a cone out in front of the antenna that's 60 degrees wide, that's the area that the antenna works the best. And it doesn't mean that it stops working outside of that, but that's what it's meant for. It's meant to be po pointed in a certain area, and that's where it works. So typically these are, are longer <coughs> range but in a very directed pattern. Here's the, here's the key. There's a, there's a DBI number yep. and that tells you how intense it can, it, it magnifies the signal effectively. So if you have a higher number you get a better signal but with the better signal you get a smaller pattern. Gotcha. So one of the coolest things that is uh, available is this pepper box antenna. This thing is not cheap mm -hmm. but you actually get incredibly high gain and an incredibly wide field of view. So it doesn't necessarily work well on a headset because of its size, but if you've got a ground station, sure. consider the pepper box. This is a good example of different gain antennas. This one's 8 dBi, and this one's 12 dBi. Actually, 13, pardon me. So they're, they're both 5.8, they're both beam antennas, but this one is gonna have a pretty wide field of view and a little bit less uh, intensity, if you will. Mm -hmm. And this one's got a real narrow field of view so but it-, high, it but high intensity. Right, so it could go really far, but you're not gonna have coverage outside of that cone. Gotcha. So, that's why you don't want to use a, a directional antenna on the aircraft, because if they were pointed at each other, yeah, they're going to work great. But if they're not pointed at each other, they're not going to work very well. So, so a lot of times, you know, directional antennas always say they're 100% used on ground stations right. uh, as the receiving end. And right. Omnis are, are typically what used on the transmitting end. So right. let's talk quickly about pairs. Sure. We talk about left hand and right hand, but let's talk about pairing a proper antenna with your, your quad versus your receiver. Mm -hmm. So. Uh, you always want to use an omnidirectional antenna on the aircraft that's, they're usually about 2 dBi. If you get higher than that, it means an antenna that's going to go really far, but it's not going to go high or low. So you wouldn't want to use like a whip antenna from a, from a Wi-Fi router that's 5 dBi. It, it wouldn't work very well because you'd have this real narrow uh, area of coverage. Sure. What we want to use is an antenna that's got a medium gain, so it's got really good coverage and pair that with an omnidirectional antenna. Okay. And if you have a diversity system, you can mix that up a little bit. You sure. can use a um, little bit higher gain antennas and kind of point them out in a little different direction. You can use an antenna like the Pepper Box and pair that with an omnidirectional. There's all kinds of different combinations you can pair together. But the idea is you, you read the specs and try to figure out what the coverage area is gonna be. Mm -hmm. And then you think about matching that up to where you're gonna be flying. Right. And try to make sure it's going to cover that area. Yeah, and, and when I fly, I, my, my number one setup right now is, is Omni, obviously, on the aircraft, and then some sort of, whether it's an Omni on my headset and a directional antenna, so mm -hmm. that I can, when I'm on the racetrack, the parts that are furthest away from where I'm sitting, right. I can hit that spot and then use the Omni for the rest yep. of the track, and to me, that works really well. Keeping in mind, though, you always have to run right, right hand on the receiver and right hand on the aircraft, right. or if you're running left hand, left hand on the aircraft yep. and left hand yep. on the receiver. 
It's also common to have to use little adapters like this uh, for, for different f uh, installations. It's sure. important to remember that those do have an insertion loss, so you do lose performance when you're using those little deals. So yeah. uh, try to keep them their use to a minimum. Okay, well, I think that covers it, Aaron. I, without getting super detailed, guys, I hope yeah. that covers the difference between omni antennas and directional antennas between left hand and right hand. So guys, choose the proper antenna for your build and you'll get much better video performance. Aaron, thanks again for coming into the studio sure. today. And guys, enjoy building. Take it easy. Thanks. Happy landings. Yeah.